My name is Randy Merrill. Uh, I'm the farms director and vice president at Wyatt Agri-Products. Currently we're farming, uh, we're farming right at uh, 4,000 acres, 3,000 dry land and uh, 1,000 uh, irrigated. We grow uh, cotton, grain, grain sorghum and corn. We usually grow vegetables, uh, all the greens and watermelons, but this is the first year we have not grown in, in probably 20 years. It's just because the cotton price is good. For our budget, we decided to grow all cotton. We've been having a problem with the white flies in, in our irrigated uh, cotton. We've sprayed several times and, and it hasn't had little effect. Our cotton is so tall right now and we just can't get the, we can't get the coverage from spraying on top. We've tried by air and by, gr by ground and we can't get enough volume down to the, where the white flies, the, the white flies start from the ground up. There's so many white flies underneath the leaves, all, you know, from the, from the ground up. Uh, we can, you know, we can get the chemical with a regular conventional spray rig, we can get the chemical to about, I'm going to say a third of the canopy. The bottom two thirds of the canopy, we can't get the chemical to it, so it ha that chemical has to touch that leaf, and it's a systemic action, and it will kill all the white flies on that leaf. But if you don't get the chemical to the leaf, it, it, uh, then you're just, you're just wasting money. Our, our, where we're spraying right now is about $20 an acre. Anyway, if you don't, if you don't control the white fly, they'll, they'll suck all the nutrients out of the plant and you might, you might get a half a yield or a third of a yield if you don't control them. We had that problem back in the, in the, in the 90s. And uh, I mean, it, just, it devastated the whole valley because we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't know what to do. We sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and couldn't control them. But now they have some chemicals that work if you can get the product to the leaf. And that's what the undercover, uh, I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, we're spraying 20 rows at a time with 36 inch rows. And we have the undercover that has uh, three uh, nozzles and it's got the split, split tips uh, on them. But they're, they're shooting up, up, up to the top of the canopy. And then we have one nozzle per row, 110 degree, uh, shooting down and it, it they meet and it just fog it just the fog fogging action just you cover every leaf you also you can use less chemical uh, you don't have to use the uh, higher rates on the chemical you can you can drop that rate down because you're actually getting it on you know on the leaf when we think also it's going to help with the defoliation I think we can spray one time and, and defoliate the crop at once one uh, pass without having to go twice or three times I think in, in our defoliation if we get a rain uh, your, your bottom boats start rotting if you, you can't get any air in there to circulate the air. With the drops on there, you're going to be able to defoliate the, the, probably the bottom half or third of the, of the leaf and you'll, you'll get some air moving in there. You, you won't get the bow rot that you normally do. I just highly recommend to anybody, and like I say, it's going to save our crop this year.